Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Amit and in today's video, we're going to be diving into the world of hair growth and a popular solution that's sworn by all, minoxidil. We'll explore what it is, how it works, and whether it lives up to the hype. But before we begin, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I post a lot about my own hair transplant journey on this channel as well as talk about some tips and some useful advice for you guys who are looking to get a hair transplant or who have already gotten one. If you like content like this, do consider subscribing and liking the video. So what exactly is minoxidil? Well, it's a medication that's been around for quite a while, initially developed to treat high blood pressure. However, during clinical trials, there was an unexpected side effect that was discovered, and that was hair growth. Fast forward to today, minoxidil is now one of the key ingredients for various over-the-counter products that are designed to help with hair loss and regrowth. Now that we know what minoxidil is, let's talk about how it actually works. The exact mechanism isn't fully understood, but it is believed that it helps widen blood vessels, which in turn increases blood flow to our hair follicles. The improved blood flow is thought to help stimulate hair growth and prevent hair loss. But does this actually work for everyone? Many people do report positive results with minoxidil, experiencing thicker and fuller hair after consistent use. However, it is important to note that not everyone is the same and results can vary. Some users see significant improvement in a short amount of time, while others see a very slow amount of improvement over a long period of time, or some don't see any at all. It really depends on the individual itself. Patience is the key, as results may take even months to become slightly noticeable. Now, like any other medication, minoxidil does come with some potential side effects. These can include scalp irritation, dryness, or even in some cases, hair growth on certain other areas of your body. It is crucial to follow the instructions on the product that you're using, and as well as consult with a doctor before using it, just in case you have any pre-existing health conditions. Now let me know what minoxidil is and what it's actually used for. Let's figure out how to apply it on your scalp. Before you start applying the minoxidil, you want to make sure that your scalp is clean and dry. You can use a mild shampoo to make sure your scalp is clean. I would recommend using the Revita high density shampoo on your scalp before applying the minoxidil. I have a review of that product in the description below. Check it out if you're interested. It is essential that after you apply the shampoo and clean your head off, it has to be dry before applying the minoxidil. Now, depending on the type of minoxidil that you're using, you could have a foam base, you can have a liquid base, you can even have a spray from minoxidil. But for this example, I'm going to be showcasing what the foam version of it looks like. All you need to do is apply some to your palm, rub it together, make sure it's an even spread on your fingers and hands, and start applying it to your scalp. Apply it to the areas that you want to see hair growth in, and continuously do it for at least 30 seconds. Make sure you're applying the minoxidil and massaging your scalp in the areas that you want hair to be regrown. Once you've applied all of it on, wash your hands immediately. Don't let the minoxidil linger on, on your skin as it can cause rashes in the future. Once you've done that, leave your scalp to be and let the foam be absorbed into your scalp for the next couple hours. Try to avoid washing your hair immediately after that or cleaning it off with a towel. The importance here is consistency. If you can continue to practice using it every morning and every night, you will be successful with your hair regrowth in time. It generally does take six months to really see any sort of difference with minoxidil, so you have to stay consistent with it. Patience is a virtue because at the end of the day, it's only you who needs to be disciplined to be able to do this. If you want your hair to come back, you have to be patient. Now that we know exactly how to use minoxidil, it's also important to know what brand works for you. Not every brand of minoxidil works for every other person. It depends on your hair type and you as an individual. Back in the day, I was losing a lot of hair and I didn't know what to do. So when I learned about minoxidil, I didn't really understand it fully. All I knew was that it regrows hair and my hair is gonna come back. I didn't understand that because I just picked up the cheapest one that I found online, applied it to my hair, and little did I know, I was not consistent with it at all, and I started to see more hair fall than before. One of the main issues with minoxidil is that if you're not consistent with it, you will lose more hair rather than gain more hair. Although a lot of people are scared off by that alone, 
I think that if you are consistent with it, there's nothing to fear. But if you're somebody who knows that you can't keep up with this, then maybe it's not for you. After I've learned that mistake, when I got my hair transplant, I realized that I don't want to mess this up again. So I got Rogaine. Rogaine is an excellent option for minoxidil to use on your scalp. It works well, but of course it doesn't work for everyone. I used it for about six months. I did see a little growth here and there, but I wasn't fully satisfied. Then I stumbled upon a product called Growplex. Growplex, to me, for the past year and a half, I've been using every day consistently and I've had no issues at all. In fact, I've seen more hair growth than I have had in the past three years of my life. I'm consistently using that. Growplex isn't only helpful for my scalp, it also has additional natural ingredients inside of it, which are added DHT blockers. Now, if you don't know what DHT blockers are, I'll talk about that in another video, but as the gist of it is that dihydrotestosterone is basically a hormone that doesn't allow us men to have hair growth. If we add DHT blockers to our scalp, it reduces that chances and allows us to keep our hair. So Growplex to me made the most sense. It also comes with a little derma roller and it really helps to be able to not only just apply the foam, but the derma roller helps to poke more holes into your head for the foam to be absorbed even quicker. It's not just the foam that does the work. You have to use a lot of combinations to be able to get the desired hair that you want. If you're interested in getting Growplex, I have a discount code in the description below. Check it out if you like. It really helps me and I really hope it helps you as well. So that wraps up our conversation about minoxidil. If you ever used it before or had any different types of experiences with it, hit me up in the comments below. I'd love to hear about your experiences with it and what type of minoxidil do you use? As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.